we may use this one to start off that other video. Uh, October 1st, 2024, about 11 o'clock. This is uh, we had our surgery yesterday, the 30th of September. Eye surgery on our right eye, which I'm looking in the mirror, so it's uh, look like it's the left eye, but uh, right eye. Everything went well. So um, and watch this other video or the rest of this video. You'll see how things are, are going, progressing, and what we're going to do. Cataract surgery, day plus one, day plus, day one plus, or whatever. I had surgery yesterday, and like I say, my activity is going to have to be greatly reduced. I was wanting to get that thing squared away, get the other one squared away, get this one and the van both ready for the winter. So my <coughs> plans have been drastically altered. things we can do or can't do actually um, we're wearing our glasses they say to wear your glasses if you are not in bed basically for the first week not to bend over for longer than just a, a stoop or bend over for longer than just to tie your shoes don't lift over 10 pounds for one or maybe two weeks and everything I do is physically you know I don't do a lot of heavy stuff at all but a lot of stuff I do most of what I do do is contrary to what I can do with this cataract surgery so I've got to be real careful not to slip back into old habits but yeah I'm wearing the wearing the glasses um, for the first week one drop in the eye four times a day we've already done our first one Um, we're, like I said, we're wearing our glasses. We're going to get an eye patch. It says to use that shield at night when you sleep. But I didn't like it. We used it last night and it came off late in the night. I'm going to get an eye patch instead and try to use it. The biggest thing I have noticed, and I knew this all along. I have been losing light very quickly in the afternoons and going in stores and stuff. So I knew there was going to be a dramatic change in the brightness at what I was seeing because I had, I've already started limiting my night driving. But you know, I'm not surprised, but there is a dramatic difference if I leave my left eye open. <coughs> then close it and open the right eye how much brighter the right eye is after this surgery um, it is absolutely incredible how much light how much difference there is in the light that is coming in and I will close one and open one back and forth to just to compare the difference the colors and the difference in the brightness as it really is absolutely incredible now I don't know I think for most people they recommend uh, the, the same lens either far or distant I mean either distant or close and you can get the extended or the upgraded lenses which cost you know I think one's 1600 one's 3500 one's or you know maybe 2500 and one's about 4000 3500 something like that I didn't have the money for that so I opted for the standard lens now the doctor said I had a small stigmatism in the right eye, I guess it was the right eye, but it wasn't uh, bad enough to actually address. And so I, I told him what I wanted to do was get a long vision in one eye and a short vision in the other eye and let the brain sort out the difference between the two eyes. And he said that I was partially like that anyway because of the, the stigmatism. So I said, well, you know, I, there, <laughs> there are times that I'll close one eye and then open the other eye or whatever back and forth. And so I'm sort of used to that if that's what I have to do. But I don't think, I think it's going to be fine from what I'm seeing from this surgery. There's one close and the one far. And like I said, I'm just one day into this. Um, I think it's going to work out real good. But we'll just have to wait and see. 
I said, your eyes are too important to mess with, so I'm going to make sure somehow that I'm going to try to at least make sure that I don't do anything that I shouldn't do with this surgery because, you know, your eyes are just too important. The one thing I had also noticed, I had lost some depth perception. I had to be much more careful uh, going out in front of people. Uh, I guess I had what uh, halos at night. I don't know how that'll be. Hopefully that'll be better. Night driving had become more difficult simply because I, I didn't have the light. I couldn't see that good, so I had greatly restricted my night driving, and anybody that follows my videos will know that. I haven't been posting any night videos, or very few. But today we're headed out. We're going to get some wildflower videos. We're going to get, uh, we're going to go somewhere, drugstore, Walmart, somewhere, and get an eye patch. And, uh, you know, we'll still be taking it easy. We're not going to do anything strenuous, but we will, we will continue to do some stuff. Most of the stuff will be done from the phone so that I don't have to glare into the computer screen for long periods of time, downloading, editing, and uploading. It'd be, it's a lot easier and quicker to put these things together on the phone and upload them. So that's what I'm going to be doing mostly and then delete them so I won't be filling up the phone hard drive. The problem with the phones, they're not uh, quite, the image stabilization with this mirror mount is not as good. It's hard to keep the phones charged up and not overheated as much as I use them. So I'll have to switch back and forth between the S22, the S22 Ultra, and maybe even the S20. all that out. We may even use the pad, the Samsung pad some, to compensate or to add to our abilities without using the GoPros and the, and I will be using the Insta360 over here for the wildflowers. We'll have to download that and use those. We can get on the computer to use those. Well, I say that. We might be able to, you can do that in the phone or in your uh, pad app. There again, that'd be a learning curve I've got to mess with. So we'll see how that works. But let's turn this one off. Um, like I said, the first thing I've noticed, uh, um, I haven't noticed a very little irritation in the eye, maybe a little scratchiness. Um, like I said, the light difference is dramatic. Um, the glasses, I can see better even with the glasses than I could before without them. It is 11 o'clock, um, the first day of October 2024, probably 70 degrees, low 70s, I forgot to tell you all that, and um, we are on Georgia Highway 129, headed into the Athens area, so there you go, I don't know if I'll use, I'm not sure what picture I'll use for this video, but we'll figure that out too, and uh, Y'all follow along. I'm going to have one or two videos a day of, of the eye cataract surgery updates. So hopefully it'll help people out know what to expect. But like I said, the first day, nothing much to, to tell. Got there at 7 o'clock. They got me in, got me prepped and all this stuff. Took me back, uh, did the surgery, brought me out. Uh, checked the eye, made sure everything was okay. So it... Nothing really to say much about that surgery. Nothing to really be apprehensive about. It all went smooth and easy, and they took good, good, good care of you over here in Athens. I, the retina center, I think it is. But anyway, we'll cut it off and uh, get this one started. Put it in. 